robots definitely are the future to keep us as humans moving forward. I think we underestimate robots and like how, how many there are in this world. They're in all of our lives. And this really is the evolution, having them make our lives better. I'm Lisa Winter and I've been building robots ever since I was young. For me, I started building robots when I was 10, and I didn't even think about being a girl. I had a few dolls growing up, but I don't think I played with them like other kids would. I didn't know how to sort of make stories and like have them talk to each other. That was odd for me. It's definitely like more of the engineering side of doll playing. So 1994, I was eight years old, and my dad found this article about the first robot wars. So he actually built a robot and flew out to California. I came out to San Francisco, won the first uh, robot wars combat competition ever. I had come back from robot wars with a trophy, with uh, videotapes, and I showed Lisa. And in one second, she says, I'm going to make a robot. I was about 10 when I built my first robot. Uh, the name was Doughboy, and it was this like aluminum, one foot by one foot metal box with a lawnmower blade on top. Best robot ever. So after Doughboy, my second robot was Tentamushi, which means ladybug in Japanese. It was a sandbox that I had turned into a robot, and I was just going down the aisles of Toys R Us trying to think of a new character, like the latest, greatest robot that I could make. The next big thing, and I saw that and was like, that's it. Like, this looks super cool. And it's so big and so light that that's what inspired the idea to like capture the opponent. Then there was a new BattleBots that came out that I was like, I have to be a part of this. I can't let it slide by without me fighting in that. I think it really like found me and I never thought about it as a career. I would say I never really searched for any sort of STEM career. It all came out of doing this robot hobby. I was building it for fun. And then I got a job at a startup to make all these prototypes. And then a year and a half ago, we got acquired by Mattel. And now I work for like the largest toy company. I'm doing experimental stuff. It's this hardware that is sort of new to the toy scene up until college. And I mean, I guess still now, I always felt like I was an artist. I use that art and making characters with every project that I do. I really love all aspects of building robots. And you know, with STEM, with whatever you're doing, it's really good to have diversity because like everyone has a different opinion. Everyone uses a product differently. If we want the best solution, we should get everyone's advice. I'd say one of the biggest things about not being discouraged to go into STEM is being able to see all of these people that are sort of like you and that inspire you. But when it's accessible, it sort of opens the doors. I would like to create something that makes the world better. Finding awesome answers to life's problems. And it's not all just like equations and math on paper. Like this can be real life and building stuff with your hands. The big picture of what I want to continue to do is some thing, some robot, some device that's gonna change the world in a huge way. Because when I hear robots are the future, I think that's totally right. And we may not see all of them. It may be stuck in our cell phones again, or maybe implanted into us, or maybe in our car. We just need to continue evolving and having these robots expand to everywhere and we have to coexist. <laughs>